Hello, gorgeous Taurus clan. I am so excited to sit down with you and talk through this March reading. March 2019. This is a big energy for you. I think you know that. Uh, the big thing that's happening this month that's really going to be affecting Tauruses for many years is this year and a shift into your sign that's happening on March 6th. We had a taste of it in 2018 when Uranus was going direct into your sign and then he went ahead and retrograded back into Aries and now we're finally coming full circle back to your sign on March 6th and then he's going to stay here until 2026. Now I know there's been a lot of talk about that. I know some of you have gotten a little nervous about the concept of Uranus in your sign. Um, but he's a benefic planet. You know, Uranus is all about technology, the future, innovation, electricity, shift, doing things differently. He's an innovator. And so when he's in your sign, he's wanting to, you to innovate your life. He's wanting to help you electrify certain aspects of who you are and what you're bringing to the world and help you to come fully into yourself. So this is really an era, Taurus, where this is your time. You know, if, if you so choose to look at it that way. Now, if you let it intimidate you or freak you out like it could it could seem a little daunting right we also have Chiron moving into your 12th house um, it's it moved into Aries in February however that that's really powerful too because this is going to help you heal on the spiritual level so you have a du dual thing going on because you have Chiron the wounded healer working on your 12th house your spiritual energy and you have Uranus working on your life and who you're going to become and how you want that to look so you have a lot of powerful energy working with you on two levels and this is going on through 2026 and 2027 those those transits are happening so we're getting the thing with March the thing with March then is that we're getting used to these new transits. We're getting used to this new energetic layout. We've been having these zero degree full moons. We're going to have another one this month uh, on March 20th. We're having that full moon in Libra at zero degrees. Uh, one of the last zero degree moons we're going to have for a little while. And, you know, that's lighting up this sixth house energy for you, right, of how you're taking care of your body, how you're taking care of your lifestyle. You have a lot of energy that's here to help you just check in with your progress and where you're going. I know a lot of you have been either in the process of welcoming in a new big change or are thinking about a new big change, have been um, like having the seeds planted for a long time. And I think this month you're going to be noticing that there's this urge to act on it a little bit more. Now I would say, oh, I'm like pulling these cards and I'm putting them face down on the table. I don't know why. I'll show you what I have so far. Uh, we have Four of Pentacles, King of Wands, the Sun and the Ten of Cups. I love this. And the Three of Cups. Okay, we're going to pull a few more. Um, the other thing to think about here is, you know, Pisces season is in an interesting time for you. We have Pisces season till March 20th, and then we hit into your 12th house Aries season where it's time to rest. It's time to get prepared for Taurus season. Um, and temperance popped up. Man, you have some very vibrant energy magician popped up. Very vibrant energy, Taurus. I love this. I love this for you. The thing I'm noticing about March, oh, the tower wanted to join the party. Okay, here's here's that Uranus shift, right? And there is a shift going on in how you get all this beautiful, vibrant energy. What worked in other years of your life and other eras of your life are no longer going to work uh, as we move into this new energetic cycle. And I think you're going to start to notice that in March. So what I've been trying to say for the last like minute or so is that March is not going, it's, we're all getting used to these new transits. We're all getting used to this new energy. We're all kind of freshly um, reborn into some new energies and the Queen of Pentacles. Oh yes, this is so powerful for you guys. You need this energy with you right now. Okay. And it's t it takes some time to get used to the new transits. So we can't just jump to conclusions right away. We can't just jump into the next energetic cycle and be like, yep, totally get it. Know what is going on. I think you guys are going to have a lot of high energy. You're going to be very willing to jump in there and dive in there and do all this amazing stuff. But just keep in mind, we also have a Mercury retrograde going on in Pisces most of the month. That starts around the 5th of the month and it doesn't go direct until the 28th. So most of March we are also doing an integration period. We are also taking some time to get used to these new transits and I think there's some really great poetry in the fact that the Mercury retrograde begins 
the day Uranus, basically the day Uranus goes into your sign. It gives us all a chance to breathe, to dream, to reconnect to our spirit, to our source, and to just get familiar with this new landscape, get familiar with our new dreams, with our new possibilities that are opening up for us. So kind of think about it in that way. Um, and I'm going to give you guys a short little series of affirmations that I think for Taurus you guys need. It is that you are, I am safe. I am loved. I am becoming who I need to be. So you have some beautiful energy here and it is quite potent. You did get the tower card, but it's in the context of all this really strong building energy, which makes me think that yes, you are getting that electrical shock from the year in a shift, but it's in order to build something really meaningful for you. So we start with four of, four of pentacles and this makes me think about you're a little nervous, right? You might feel a little nervous to let yourself open up to this next phase because the four of pentacles is always this mindset that we have that we can't quite do it you know if we let go of what we know what we have what we've been doing for so long and what we own in our bank account or where we're living that there won't be anything to help us but it's kind of that leap and the net will appear kind of logic has to be applied to this we have to take that leap otherwise we hold ourselves prisoner within our own minds within our own systems so you're getting the Four of Pentacles, which makes me know, feel, get the sense that you guys know exactly what you want to change, which exactly what you want to put out there in the world. You're very highly conscious of it, and it makes you extremely nervous to actually go out and take that stand, right? So check in with this energy. This is another, like, Mercury retrograde is such a gift because it gives us a chance to slow down and integrate, look in, and get right with any narratives that are holding us. So this is a fantastic opportunity for this because when you look at the rest of your energy, Taurus, it is powerful. You have some of the most buoyant, cheerful energy in the world. Yes, you may be dealing with a more stubborn fire sign. King of Wands is quite has quite a way of knowing what he wants, right? But the King of Wands is also a visionary. The King of Wands is also the guy who can sit there and look out over the landscape and see 10 miles in the, into the distance and understands what that looks like. So while you may be dealing with fire sign, somebody that you love quite a bit, you're also stepping into King of Wands territory a little bit. You're also stepping into this period where it's about looking at the bigger picture. It's about surveying the landscape around you and welcoming in these new waves of energy. It's also about sitting in your seat of power, creative power, and welcoming it in. So you have an invitation there. Now, for anybody who is working with somebody who's a little bit more visionary, a little bit more stubborn, a little bit more, you know, wants to do things... A lot of you are going to find love and comfort in energies like this, these visionary energies. It doesn't just have to be about a romantic relationship, right? Because one thing that I notice with the Sun and the Ten of Cups when it comes up in a reading is the children in the cards, the children in the symbolism. Because the Sun is all about childlike play. The sun is uh, associated with Leo, and Leo energy is all about childlike play, creativity, uh, romance and heart chakra, right? And, and when you have the sun in your corner, what that's telling me is there's this creative endeavor. There's this creative fertility of mind and heart that is waking up. Same with the 10 of cups. Uh, the thing with the 10 of cups is this is about being with your people. This is about being with the people that bring this emotional resonance out of you. Not everybody does bring out 10 of cups energy with everybody, right? We have people that definitely do not bring this feeling of well-being, of fullness, of wholeness, of safety into our lives. Focus on the people that allow you to play like these children play in these cards, because that is where the gold is for you. Taurus, I know that when you get into that creative, playful space, you come up with some of the best ideas, the best materials, the softest, kindest, coolest, most beautiful things. And when you're feeling stressed, when you're feeling pushed to the limit, you kind of shut that aspect of yourself down. And this is one of the aspects of this long transit that we're going to have with Uranus in your sign that is about you being playful, being creative, being innovative. And for you to be able to do that, you need to feel safety. You need to feel understood. You need to feel that you are enveloped in some warmth. And I see that for you. 
I'm just, it's also a strategy, right? It's also a strategy of how you navigate uh, energetic currents that are quite powerful and that affect you intensely. Focus on the relationships that let you bring out your child like playfulness and let you feel totally safe, seen, understood, and held. Absolutely. And if anybody is bringing anything else out of you, if a situation is bringing anything else out of you, really look at it. And this month is going to highlight the difference between those two energetic states, right? Because the next three cards are really powerful too. Actually, let's just look at these first two because Actually, let's just look at three of cups, okay? <laughs> because I'm the more I'm looking at this, the more I'm realizing you've got transformational energy here. So ten of cups, three of cups, we're talking about the same thing. The three of cups energy is the people you trust, right? Friendships, community, the people you can imbibe with, whatever imbibing means for you. Imbibing can just be imbibing life. But that three of cups circular energy, you know, three is a creative number. It's like this holy trinity creative number, right? It's it's birthing something new. And that's the word that keeps coming up. There's like this fertility of ideas. And the fertility of ideas is coming through supportive relationship, supportive environment. So pay attention to that because the next three cards are all about huge mental, emotional transformation. Each of these cards are alchemists. Each of these cards are rebalancers. And each of these cards are transformative energies, and they are quite powerful. And it kind of ramps up energy. I feel like each of these kind of represents a different aspect. Temperance is a little softer. Temperance wants us to find that balance, check in with our energy cycles, pull things apart, really look at it, pay attention to what's working, what's not, and pull it back together. You know, this is an angel energy. This is about how we're perceiving of our own mythology and what we're doing with it. And you are being asked to do that via relationships around you. Because the people around us reflect how we're feeling about ourselves, right? The people around us reflect something that we're feeling we deserve or we want, the situations around us do that too. It's a very useful tool for figuring out what's going to work for you. So the temperance card is a little gentler, a little, a little bit more about the gentle flow. Then we hit into magician. The magician's a lot more about electricity and aha moments. The magician wants to manifest, wants to make manifest what we're feeling energetically. And the magician isn't really in it for the slow, the slow burn. He wants to get in there and make things happen. He wants to get in there and find the transformation and shift it all around. That is his prerogative, and he's very passionate about it. But if you have the magician on your side as well, you do have the power to make and manifest very quick change in your life. Now, play lightly with the magician this month. Once again, we do have a Mercury retrograde. We are going. We are getting used to newer shifts. We are having zero degree, a zero degree full moon that is quite tender. All of these, all of these shifts are, are leaving us a little vulnerable, everybody. So if you do have big changes coming, if you do have big shifts coming, be gentle with yourself. Try your best to be mindful of what you're trying to manifest right now this month and maybe plug into the next couple of months as we ramp up to your birthday because the tower is here in the conversation. Capricorn got this card too, and I think the earth signs in general are getting a little shaken up. They're getting a little bit of a shift through of different energies that's definitely coming up. But the thing that's interesting about the tower in the context of all this positive creative energy, because quite honestly, almost all of these cards are about creative abundance and creating the life you want, it means that the tower has a different energy to it. Because yes, it does have the destructive side, right? It does have this, this desire to strike down anything that is holding you back, any imprisonment that is holding you back. But that's exactly it. What was working in 2017, 2018 will not work in 2019. It will not work leading into your new solar year. And you know that. You know it's time for there be, to be this kind of division between the before Uranus and the during Uranus. And there's this kind of, the, the tower, the other thing with the tower is it's that light bulb moment. It's like you can't unknow what you know. So one of the things that may be coming up, especially with Pisces season, the magic and alchemy of Pisces season into Aries season is this rebirth energy. It's extremely powerful for transformation. It's this potent transformational time. And so when we're in Pisces season, we're moving into Aries season, we are transmuting 
who we've been. And ideas and realizations come in very intensely during this time. Very intensely during this time. So when this hits, it's like you can't unknow it. You can't unsee what you really want, what you really want to be feeling, how you really want to be feeling in your relationships, in your creative life, in your work life. And it's just hitting you really hard this month. Think that knowing is so strong. Once again, your affirmation is, I am safe, I am loved, I am becoming who I need to be. Your overarching energy is the Queen of Pentacles, and this is a really powerful, potent, and important energy to have with you, Taurus, as you navigate this extremely electrical storm that is brewing around you. Because the Queen of Pentacles is about nurturing, is about mothering. Yes, mothering others, mothering projects, but mothering yourself. The Queen of Pentacles has one of the most powerful uh, self-esteem energies of any of the queens because she just kind of knows she has her own back. She knows she has this in the bag. She knows she's accounted for. Therefore, she is accounted for. The Queen of Pentacles tells me that materially, realistically, um, the answers are coming in. The clarity is coming in. You'll be able to see how to move through this very easily, very clearly, very poignantly. You have value. You have worth. You are worth the shift. You are worth the change. You are worth that transformation. In fact, you know, when I think about the first card that came out and the last card that came out, this guy holds on tight to everything he has because he's so terrified of what would happen if he relaxed. She holds her wealth lightly, understanding that she is grateful for it and that more will come. She's surrounded by the richness of this landscape. Um, she, is, she is surrounded by her well-being rather than imprisoned by it. Big difference, right? She's surrounded by the possibility of the forest and the earth and what's coming up. He can't even see any possibility. So there's a shift, right? There's a shift. A big shift. Okay. I'm going to close it there. Because Taurus, you deserve to be happy and you deserve to be living the life you want to be living. I'm just going to reaffirm that right now because you are being asked to transform and it is big stuff. But you deserve it. And this is a great month to check in with why maybe you are putting off that shift or what you want that shift to look like because it's coming in, it's coming up, it's coming out of you. Um, it's almost unavoidable. Speaking of beautiful Tauruses, as usual, I'm wearing Pink Loon's gorgeous jewelry. I wear it every day of my life. Um, she all handmade, ethically sourced. She really puts her time and effort into it. So go check her out. You get 15% off in the description box below. I also want to tell you about another one of my dearest friends. I just love talking about my friends and what they do and sharing them with you for anybody who wants to connect to some of these beautiful people. Uh, my friend Taylor is this amazing creator um, and she does one-on-one -on -one holistic business coaching. So if you have, you know, something that you're working on, you want help figuring out how to put that into the into the world on social media and all of that, she's a really great resource. She will give you really practical tips and she will help you mastermind the ideas behind that. So I'll leave her information in the description box too if you're looking for somebody to work with like that. Uh, both of these friends of mine are just dear to my heart. I love them. That's why I share their stuff. Um, I will see you guys in April uh, for the lead up and the lead into Taurus season and into an era that I think is going to bring so much rich reward for you. So I'm really excited and drink in this month. It's a beautiful month. Uh, it's intense, but it's gorgeous for you. And it's really leading you to some gorgeous things. You can also, oh, you can also work with me. I do private sessions. Uh, my website is sarahverba.com. You can find me on Instagram at sarahverba. I just changed my handle recently. So I'll leave all of my info in the description box. I do Skype and 
Zoom and phone readings. So if we can be anywhere in the world, if you're in Australia, if you're in the US, if you're in the UK, wherever you are, um, I would love to connect with you. So you can go check out my website and I'm booking into the summer. So you're going to want to plan ahead or summer slash winter if you're in the southern hemisphere. So plan ahead if you want to work with me. I would love to see you over in the next few months. So have a beautiful March. I will see you very soon.